The U.S. wants to see peace return to the Indo-Pak border in line of control and is open to using its clout with Pakistan to ensure normalcy. A U.S. congressional delegation is in New Delhi to build on a Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to the U.S. and Senator Timothy Kane, a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, spoke to Strategic Affairs Editor Gaurav Savant. As Indian and Pakistani forces battle each other at the line of control and the international border, there is a U.S. Congressional Committee which is in India. Uh, Senator Kane with me on the broadcast. Senator, uh, there is tension at the line of control. Pakistan has been resorting to, to shelling at civilian areas at the line of control and the international border. How does the U.S. look at this development? Well, we look at it with a great deal of concern. The international border and the line of control need to be respected. Um, there shouldn't be provocations along the border. Um, you know, we are, we are here primarily Senator King and I to celebrate this really strong moment in the U.S.-India relationship following Prime Minister Modi's very successful visit. But to be here while this activity is underway gives us a perspective that we can take back to our colleagues. Obviously, we're very troubled by civilian deaths. We're troubled by the deaths of, of military personnel along a border and line of control that should be peaceful. And, uh, and I agree with the statements that the Secretary General of the U.N. made that we need to return to a ceasefire along these, uh, these important uh, boundaries. Uh, I thought Prime Minister Modi's comments assuring the population that, you know, all will be fine, you know, that was the kind of assuring statement that I think the population needs to hear from the leader, and I was is, heartened to see that. Is Pakistan doing this because of internal trouble they're facing? Uh, can U.S. mount pressure on Pakistan, uh, given the leeway that the U.S. has, uh, especially the weapons that you're providing, the restrictions on F-16s, that Pakistan needs to, to talk and guns don't need to talk? Um, the, you, the, the first question you asked about why is you know why are why are these events happening? I cannot answer for uh, other countries you know why why things happen. But I will say this: the U.S. does have a policy of engagement, which we generally believe is the right policy around the world to engage with nations, but then encourage uh, the right behavior and the the right. Uh, the right result along this international border and along the line of control is a ceasefire and no military provocation. And, I'm, and, and that is what the United States wants and we'll be definitely communicating that. Uh, and because the situation currently uh, with guns talking, there cannot be negotiations. That is India's uh, stance and it's a rather strong stance that India has adopted. Uh, will this lead to an escalation and would the U.S. then perhaps uh, put pressure on Pakistan? Is that what is required? It, it, it shouldn't lead to an escalation. You know, I thought the Prime Minister Modi, when he was, uh, uh, took the oath of office to become Prime Minister, did a, uh, made a very smart move to bring uh, nations from the region, the leaders, including Prime Minister Sharif, uh, to, to invite them and engage in open dialogue about the desire for strong relationships. Obviously, in light of that, these latest developments are, are disappointing. But, but, um, but we can we can overcome them and we can return to the 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 status of uh, peace along this border.